Hello, Scorpio. It's on Omega Tarot, and this is your September monthly tarot card reading. Look at me, I'm shuffling. I'm trying to get more into the on camera shuffle, Scorpio. And this one's for you for September. What comes up? I'm hoping we talk relationships, but like, whatever comes up, let's see. Um, you feel good? You feel good about this? We'll stop here. Scorpio, who that? Oh, opportunity, look at this. Page of Pentacles, opportunity. This is in reverse. Might have been something you've been expecting for some time. You know, might, might be a catch to this opportunity coming towards you. This is in the Pentacles area, so it might be work. Might be a health opportunity. Might be a, hey, you wanna buy this for 30 bucks? Oh my gosh, yeah, it's usually 500. Opportunity something being presented before you. I love that for your September vibes. All right, your next card is, oh, more pentacles, nine of pentacles, gratitude in reverse. So this is like maybe a payoff or some sort of element of you being recognized, rewarded for all the work that you've put in, especially independently. Sure, your team effort, whatever, but you specifically, um, people really appreciating the work that you've done. Maybe that's why this opportunity comes up and you've been waiting a long time. It may be overdue, but heck, it's coming up. Makes sense in the beginning of a fiscal year um, that opportunities are stronger at the beginning of the budget. Um, so some of you guys might be getting another job. Some of you, oh, oh, who that? Word on the street. We got a page of swords um, in reverse. Another page-like curious research, learning things, um, getting in the know of things. Things come up this month. Things are coming up. Rumors coming up. Opportunities coming up. There's a catch. They're all in reverse. So there's a catch to this. There's like late, delayed, heard through the grapevine. I wasn't supposed to know this, but something, something a little complicated to this. But let's have at it with the spreads. Go further in. See, it came to the money. This is a season of an earth sign, Virgo season, so that might be just what happened. That might just be what happened. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We'll stop here. We'll stop here. Oh, oh, Knight of Cups. Oh, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, <laughs> Then, I'm, so, I'm sorry about the sound effects. Then we have Nine of Swords in Reverse. I like that for you. Don't worry. This kind of anxiety, I'm with it. Then we have Chariot. Hey, hey you. And finally, we have the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfilled. But again, long overdue. Like, so I'm manifesting for 20 years? Where have you been? Anyway your spread as a whole, we see the emotions top and tail. We see the cups, we see the water signs, and that's where you connect. That's where you, that's where things begin to resonate, okay? That's where things begin to feel like, okay, I hear you, I feel you. And that's your thing, because you're a water sign. But you're also, a, you're a very earthy water sign, I gotta say, because you make practical decisions. You get powered by your emotions, but you're still like, okay, we don't strike now, even though I'm furious. We strike three years from now. And they will feel my wrath as if it were today when they least expect it. You know, Scorpio type things. So, respectfully. Um, so, the Knight of Cups is giving us a proposal. It's giving, it's leaning a little bit more of a, like, you know, sweet, emotional, loving type way. But it's also proposals as far as partnerships, the people that are near and dear to your heart. Potentially people you've worked with in the past, people who know you and have recognized that you specifically are something special, valuable, I recognize a skill you have, I recognize something, the way that you organize yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way you move, generally, the way you operate, I feel like there's an opportunity there for, I guess, more than just you. Recommendations, maybe, feels like. Um, and proposals as far as like just somebody, maybe even headhunting you. This could also mean somebody at work, you know, proposing something loving, a loving gesture, a kind gesture towards you, which is nice. Hey, you wanna go for a drink? Oh, 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 nice. Good connection. Good. Um, and then seven of pentacles potential. So who knows what that could turn into. It could turn into a new business opportunity, a new job, a new career, a new relationship. 
you know, could spiral into anything. But we see potential. Um, we see the potential. We see that there are options in front of you, different paths to take. Um, and this is kind of like something, like something's just being put in front of you where you have the option of going this way, that way, or the other way. And that's, that's a really powerful place to be in the month of September. It does, again, feel more like a fiscal thing, so business thing, um, so maybe business opportunities or potentially relationships at work. Um, then we have the anxiety, right? And this is what makes me think it's more at work. So obviously when new opportunities come up, kind of like, who I better be hush hush until things are confirmed. Um, I better tell this person before I tell that person. I better not tell this person or that person. You know, there's all these things, but, and then there's the anticipation of going somewhere else while you're someplace else. So, and all of it, all of it, anxiety. Uh, nine of swords, anxiety upright, I'd be like fearful. I'd be like, oh my God, so what's keeping you up at night? Like, what are you, what are you stressed out about? What? But I feel like this is like that anticipatory anxiety because you feel it coming. I feel like part of you senses something's going to change, something's different, something's going something's going to happen, something different. I, I feel like it's all up in my energy and I just, I'm waiting to like birth it or like urinate it, yawn it out, cough it out, whatever it is. You feel like it's coming out of you. Um, and so it's in reverse. So it's not, it doesn't have to be this like, oh, stressing me out type of thing, but it's like, oh, you're stressing me out, but like, just because I don't know what's going on, but like, I feel, I feel it. I feel it coming. You know, like that song. Um, and the reason I feel like it's more positive than anything is because we're sandwiched with potential and the chariot card, which is represent, representative drive, motivation. And that's powered by emotions again, because the chariot is associated with cancer very emotional water sign, very sensitive, very compassionate, very empathetic, very all those things, very creative as well. So it feels like almost like, and look at that, you have like almost all the elements, maybe not the wands, but like, it feels like this is an emotional activation of like feeling, maybe even like somebody recommending you and you're feeling so touched by the recommendation, you're like, I won't let you down. And then you up the ante of your own performance. It just feels like whatever's being offered and put in front of you is an opportunity. Um, that there is some decision making, there is some wondering what might happen. What might so some of you might be afraid to take this opportunity or be like, oh, I don't know, I, I might be on a good trajectory. I, I may not, you know. But I feel like if you're looking for validation that this person's coming to you lovingly or with care or concern or well thought outness, because a lot of people should just be saying stuff like, Oh, you'd be good at this. They don't even know anything about they give you a TV recommendation like, Oh, you'd love this show. Why? Why would I love that show? Why? Because there's like a black guy on it? Okay, so I don't, I, but I don't like, I, I don't even like that genre. I don't even like, nothing ga Nothing I said in this lifetime ever give you an indication that I would like that type of, like, like British humor. Don't come at me with the British humor. I know it's funny. I know it has a cult following and all that, but I just, look, I don't get it. I don't get it. Except for that one guy, the, the, the one that does the Jame, hilarious. I'll rewatch that 10 times over, but that's because that guy's funny and I, it, it transcends the accent that I can't really like like not even the accent I think it's like a completely different comedy style and I just listen Scorpio you need to focus you need to focus right now chariot giving us that cancer energy so there might be a cancer in the mix you never know but with all this water sign water energy I feel like cancer Scorpio Pisces any one of them could be up in the mix but I feel like it's more connected to your emotions uh, and just reminding you top of the tail go with your gut go with that intuition you know your spiritual nature has always guided your way anyway so you have you have some synergy there especially in hindsight if you doubt yourself today just be like well back in the day i thought you know but i just knew i would get that job and i tried i did something different and i just knew that this would happen and when i tried applied i said hey listen i'm getting this place this apartment this house this you know what i mean i had an energy about me and maybe it's like channel that energy and also follow your intuition about people and I think that like it's also like if you're like somebody's proposing something to you, you're like cynical. Maybe you've been a, in a cloud of like not negativity, but like a cloud of something that would like alter your whatever. But normally you would care. This person is a caring figure. This person is lovely normally, and maybe your just own paranoia made you think otherwise. But this is like validation. This person's coming at you with action and um, in good intentions. Um, emotions power their actions which is which is great which is great also the nightness of it is like they're putting effort into this not they're not just like being like you get this they're like championing championing you or seeing you and recommending you like they're putting an action into it which is even more sincere 
Then we have the Nine of Cups at the end. And I feel like this is just kind of like a testament to the story that all of your decisions and all of the actions, all of the the things you're driven, passionate, and determined about, maybe maybe got a little deflated at some times, but still. Um, I feel like it's like a validation of manifestation that something is going to occur where you feel like a wish has been fulfilled. Or maybe even not that dramatic, where it's like something happens or you just have a moment this month where you realize that you're in a place where you from 10 years ago would have been like, oh my God, I'm just, I was just killed for this being in this spot. You know, maybe before you were like, you had zero dollars and now you have some wiggle room or maybe now you can cover your bills and you're like, oh my God, I'm just like grateful that I can do that. Maybe I'm in this like spot, but like either way, it's a place of gratitude, which we already knew was kind of a theme here. Um, maybe some of you have been practicing gratitude more than normal and I'm just remembering to and you've seen, you're seeing it work for you. So you're getting that validation there. Um, but again, hold on to that drive, determination, motivation, and let your emotions feel it. Because sometimes when people are emotional, a lot of other people like to be like, oh, do that, do that. that's a weakness. But for you, you use that as your strength because you got that, you got that depth to it, you know, because you're Scorpio. I always picture the colors gold and black for Scorpio, but I don't think a lot of people agree with that. Um, but yeah, no, you guys deep, deep in the, like, cups don't confuse things for you. They, they make, they make what you do even stronger. They make the power blast. Like if you were a Goku and you were making a Kamehameha wave, like you would do it like 10 times stronger if you were a Scorpio because like you would go deep. You'd like, think about all the people sell hurt or whatever the heck. And then you'd be like, like you start filming and then that aura thing, the lights would. Anyway, Scorpio, that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I look for the remote that I was looking for so that I could have a smooth ending. But that's not what's happening right now. And now I found it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, have a look these through my links in the description. I have an Etsy shop. I sell candles, home fragrances, and whatnot. And check out the other playlists. There's other stuff going on. And you know what? Like, have at it. Bye! Oh, this remote doesn't work. Look. Let's troubleshoot that together. Because I could have sworn I used it to turn this on. No? You're not good. <laughs> oh, maybe I haven't set the camera for that. You read it, you read it. Okay, I'll do this the manual way. I'm not editing this out, so have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.